Today you're joining myself and Luke at the JRC Trade Show where they've launched a load of new products but more specifically in this video we're going to be focusing on all the different beds they've now got in their new range but while I walk to the very first one to talk about make sure you subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads so you don't miss content like this and much much more. Now first up we've got the Defender 2 Lite now this is more of your entry level bed chair and the reason I say that is because it's a bit more simplistic compared to some of the bed chairs we're going to get onto in a second but that doesn't mean it's not a comfortable bed chair it does everything you need it to. I started my fishing on a bed like this. It's got a nice padded mattress and 600D materials all the way around so it's hard wearing, nice and strong frame. You've got elastic at the head and foot end of the bed chair to give a bit of extra spring but where it matters most for most of your weight it's fixed with just material so there's no flex and no degrading over time. It's not going to start sagging. One of the other things you'll notice about this bed chair is it still follows that more old school style of actually being able to be used as a chair during the day. But rather than having those really clunky big cogs, we've actually got much easier levers to loosen. It still works on a cog system that you can choose how much you want to recline it. There's also an extra set of legs on the back. So when you put it down, it gives you that extra strength. So it's not relying just on the cog system to hold it in that position. And then you clamp them back down with the clip. Now you have it locked into a more standard shape for when you actually go to sleep on it. As you can see, this isn't a complete system. It's just a bed chair on its own. You can add any of the JRC sleeping bags to that. Or if you already have a sleeping bag, which is universal fitment, it should go straight onto this. So that is the Defender 2 Lite. If you then move on to these two, these are the Defender 2 flat beds. Now, as the name suggests, it lies nice and flat. You've got three sets of legs, which makes it nice and sturdy all the way around. So whether you're sitting slightly off center, it's not going to rock over but it doesn't have the feature that the light version has, which is that it doesn't lock into position. So if that's something you don't use, then there's no need to have it, then maybe go for the Defender flatbed. Same when it comes to the padding, nice and padded all the way around, and all around on the outside as well, you've got the 600G material, so it's nice and hard wearing. And this bed is available in both the standard, which is this one I've got straight in front of me, and the wide. If I just lift up the standard and put it on top of the wide, and ask Luke to come in closely, you'll see the difference in width between the two. So if you like that little bit of extra, I'd say, I think it's around the 12 centimeter mark, we'll flash it up on screen. That's the difference in width. I think there's also a few centimeters when it comes to the actual length of it as well. But for most people, the standard will probably be enough. If you don't want it just as a bed and put a seat bag on it, you can go for the flatbed sleep system. This is the Defender 2 sleep system flatbed version. And it just comes as a complete system. So on top, as you can see the material here, is that kind of fairly shiny polyester. So it should be rain resistant. Obviously you don't want to be out in a storm all night long in this, but if you do get caught short and a little shower and you're sleeping under the stars, this will have you covered. And this is zipped to the frame. So rather than just putting any old sleeping bag over the top of it, because this is zipped to the frame, it's nice and easy to get in and out with the crash zips. It stays nice and snug. It's not going to roll around and get stuck to you in the night because it's fixed to the frame itself. The zips, as you saw, really easy to pull back. So getting to your rods at night in a hurry isn't going to be an issue. Excuse the wind. And on the inside, you've got that same mattress that we've seen on the non-sleep system versions, but it's carried across straight onto this. And on the inside of the sleeping bag or the system, again, nicely padded, really warm fleece. So flick that back down and zip it back up leave that one and move on to the next bed chair worth mentioning also available in standard and the wide same as the defender standard bed chairs and then we have the cocoon 2 flat bed this is an absolute monster i believe this is actually the wider of the two so this is available as a large or a standard the large is an absolute monster at 23 kilos it certainly isn't the lightest of the ones in the range but with that you get all the comfort and bells and whistles you'd expect from a bed of this caliber. To start with, the sleep system itself is a five season system. It gets that name because you've got a top layer which zips back and another layer underneath. So if you wanna have it stripped back for the summer months where you don't need as much coverage, you can have that one layer, zip that up, or you can have both layers, which will keep you nice and warm when the weather starts to turn. That is also zipped straight onto the frame. So unlike a sleeping bag, which K could move around and get loose, it won't because it's fixed to the frame it's easy to move around in there. On the inside, we've got that fleece that we've seen on the previous sleep systems, but on the inside layer, it's not so much the fleece, it's more of a, a brushed polyester type feeling to it, so it should be much easier to move around on the inside of this bed chair without getting caught up. We zip these all the way back. We'll then see that the mattress is fully removable to start with. So if you want to remove that for cleaning purposes, you can. 
but look at the thickness of that. It's probably a good couple of inches of foam. So it's super comfortable and that slots down on the middle bit there. Extremely padded all the way around the outside. So that mattress thickness continues around the edges, head and foot end. And then if we have a look on the underside of the bed, bear with me, it's quite a big bed to stretch over. As you can see, we've got elasticated on the inside here, but that's fully adjustable. So if you want to tighten that up over time, if you want a slightly firmer mattress, or if it starts to sag, which elastic will do on all bed chairs, you can tighten that up at a later date. And that's elasticated all the way around, but it is notably double thickness material around the lumbar area, giving you that extra support. Leg-wise, I think you've got enough on here. You've got eight, which are spring-loaded. And look at how much adjustability are in these legs. Putting that down, that's a pretty high bed chair. So if you're someone that likes all the comfort of your bed at home, but want to take that fishing with you, particularly for longer stays, because I don't think you're going to be carrying around a 23 kilo bed chair for a quick overnighter, this is definitely the bed to go for. So there you go, a whistle stop tour of all the beds coming from JRC on this launch.